Hey everyone, this is Eric at Galloway Precision. We're going to be doing the uh, <coughs> SIG P365 Performance Spring Kit install. It comes with a blocker, striker, sear spring, and a trigger return spring. So it's basically two parts. You've got a slide part and a grip module part. All right. So we're going to do the slide part first. Field strip it. These uh, newer ones have got this oddball set up. I don't know why they've done it that way, but it's just how they've done it. If you take and roll this a little bit, you can kind of get a little traction on it. Press it down in there and come right out. It's not as easy as the old style or the Glock that it's the old style is modeled after, but you can get it apart with a little fighting. Blocker, striker, take our blocker spring set off side. Get this apart. Hang it down just a little bit. You can just sort of push it and the whole thing will come apart, right? Take that off. There's a relief, like a shoulder. That's where this white piece goes. Kind of compress it on the end of the slide. That makes it a little easier. The uh, gear looking part goes up, okay? I'm going to sort of pull this. There we go. And get that spring to seat fully, all right? Take your blocker. There's a shoulder on the back side. It's kind of obvious which way it goes. Turn your slide around, right side up. Slide it in like that. All right. Nice and springy. You're going to take this, slide that in. Once it's in, you can let go of the blocker. Now, this is where it gets aggravating. You can take this blocker push this guy in to get it seated a little bit more and you should be able to uh, take all this in there and take that and get this put in here compressed again and there you go all right pop this guy back blockers working let's get there all right so take this and now we're going to put this in here. That's seated. All right. And that handles this part. Okay. So on the lower, we have the sear, the trigger turn. And to get these apart, these things are super modular. Just make sure your takedown's in that position. You just push this pin out. Once the pin is out, you're just going to pop the rear of this thing up just a little bit and you can lever it out, okay? This has a set of little angled teeth at the front, so it's backwards to a lot of guns that uh, wedge at the back. This one wedges at the front and then clicks in. Not really much to it outside of that. The spring, the true return spring is the easiest part to get off. We're just going to pop this thing, just pop it loose, we'll set it off to the side because we're going to be using this one. And that's the easiest part of this. Moving forward, we have to kind of keep up with all the timing that's happening with this takedown and the sear. If you, uh, if you notice when you do this, the sear pops up, you know everything's working right. That's the biggest problem you'll see folks will have is the sear will stay down like that. And what that's an indicator of is the sear spring is not tensioned to this pin correctly. We'll, we'll go over that here in just a moment, but that's that's something to kind of keep an eye out. You can actually take it and do that, and you see how it pops up. You're ready to work because it's not in a takedown mode. All right. So first things first, let's just take the trigger bar, work it just a little bit loose. You don't take it off. Just slide it out. Pull your uh, uh, actuator for the trigger bar. That's what resets the trigger when the slide comes back, knocks the trigger bar down, lets everything time back out. The pin you see here, this is your lifter behind it. This pin is this pin on this side, right? This is the guy that everything has to work around. Um, this is probably going to fall out here in a second. Don't freak out. It's not that big a deal. I'm just going to go ahead and push this guy all the way out. Sit him off, okay? There's no reason to bother trying to fight. Keep him in. This guy, we can just... He'll fall right out, right? Now, this is uh, the lifter. And we can just take and push here. You got the sear pin, 
and their sear. Now, when you're looking down at the gun, that's what it looks like, right? The spring is on the left, and it's got this little short leg that they put on here to make life difficult. If it was a little bit longer, we should have made ours longer. Ours is about a millimeter longer than theirs, or half a millimeter or so, so about 10, 15 thou. I wish we'd made it like, I don't know, 90 thousandths longer, or three and a half millimeter, or something like that. But I didn't, I should have. All right, so we're gonna set this off to the side, take our new one, there's a little leg that goes inside this hole. Just like that. You can put a little grease on there if you want to on this back side to sort of hold everything together. Totally up to you. But this this is going to be the aggravating part. This is what will get a lot of people is this leg. All right. So go ahead and slide this thing down in here. As it seats, we can see it through this side hole right here. All right. And if you kind of maneuver it around a little, you'll see that spring leg pop up right there, right? It is, like I said, very aggravating. We'll go ahead and drop this pin in. There you go. Now, you can see this leg really good right here. This dude's all in the way. So what we're going to try to do, we're going to set this pin, just get it started. And we're going to reach in from the front side here. I'm going to use this small flathead screwdriver. And we'll see if I can just pop it up out of my way. All right. Okay. All right. So that's how it sprung up. We're good. Reached through from the back, rolled it up. There's a couple different ways, man. There's not a right way or a wrong way. Just mess with it till you can kind of figure out which tools you have and which one will work well. The armor and our armor's class at six showed us several different ways to do that. Basically, he said it just kind of sucks. Go with whichever one you can make work. Thought that was encouraging. The lifter in here, we're just going to kind of line this up just a little bit. Okay. There we go. All right. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and Put this guy together on this side if you wanted to, but we need to get this takedown handled first. So the instinct is, you know, kind of follow that, but just sort of humor me here. We're going to back this guy up just a little bit and rotate him. Come on. And there's a small groove just under here. You can fill it with that. And if you look down inside here, you'll see that's the actual sear tab, all right? Right here, that's what you're decocking with this device, all right? So fit him way back in there and just drop him in, okay? Feel it grabbing. Turn your pin back so the flat is towards the bottom. And make sure everything, ah, oh, dang it, <laughs> my trigger bar knocked a lift around a little bit so let's get that line back up normally I'm slick enough to get away with that gosh yeah, see there it goes keep everything in line boy everything in time Okay. Alright. So you can see the flat is down. It's holding this pin in and keeping that guy captured. Alright. Keep a little light pressure on it just because you never know. You can kick the lifter forward a little bit to give you clearance like for this part. Okay. Take your reset. Slide it in. Make sure it's flat. 
Alright. Check our return spring. Fits through the pocket. It'll hook right there on that edge. It'll take this guy. And hooked in there, okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead and put this on its takedown mode. Remember what I was talking about? This one goes in nose first. Get him pushed in. Alright. Heard it click. We'll squeeze it on the back. Lever forward. Nice lighter pull. Okay. It is quite a bit of an aggravation on that sear spring, but it does make a difference. It is worth the effort in the long run if you're looking for the best you can get out of that trigger pull. Um, again, there's couple different ways you can do it. You can line it up, push it in, you can reach through from the back with it a little bit longer than this is to pop it on that one pin that it's uh, tensions on, or reach through from the other side and turn this, you know, turn your little small flathead to push that leg up and push the pin in, which has ended up how it worked for me. I think that was the three ways the armor showed us in the class years ago. Uh, anyway, if you do not have a live trigger, be sure to check that Sear tension, sear spring tension, that's generally the issue. Um, there's not any tricks to it other than what I showed you. You just got to kind of fiddle around with it and get it tensioned correctly. Uh, I hope this helps, gives you a little guide in how to get it done. As always, be safe, be accurate, and God bless.